Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have my Stitch North floss tube recap for you today. I have a lot to show you. I had such a fantastic weekend and I have some coffee. I have some good sunshine so I thought it's perfect time to do this. Mm. Okay, so I was at Stitch North weekend two. There were two weekends. Um, mine was May 4th, 5th, and 6th, I think. And then the weekend before was weekend one. Um, I know if anybody asks, registration is open for previous attendees. And then I think in a week or two, um, they're going to open it up to anybody else who would like to come. Now, it will probably sell out fast. Here is my recommendation. Put yourself on the wait list. Because a lot of folks who are on the wait list got in. Plans change. It's a year out. Just get yourself on the wait list and hopefully if you're on there soon enough, you'll be able to get a seat. It was a fantastic time and I cannot wait for October. I'm going back to Canada for Jacob Palooza and I'm excited and my table mates will be there. Ooh, ooh. Now, I've got a lot of stuff here. I'm going to try very hard to remember everybody who handed me something or gave me a gift and I am so appreciative of it and I appreciate everybody coming up and saying hi because that made me feel good. It was a fun time. Now we'll start with my little bag here. I have some, I have the my reminder, but I, this was the table mate gift that I made for everybody at my table. It's just a little bag. I had this one had some green. It was all made with some scrap fabric and different prints but this is the one I made I kept for myself and then I think if I have it in here I may not I put a little vial that had some charms in it and a needle threader and that was my table mate gift that I gave out so I wanted to share with you now before I get too close far into Stitch North I did have some purchases to share and I cannot remember if I showed you my floss clubs so i wanted to share that with you while we have time so this is i'm trying to get it sorry there's gonna be a ton of crinkling here this is march of 23 oh i'm obsessed guys is that not like i just want to stitch something just with these colors carrie is a genius and she is the dyer behind roxy floss co and she's a genius and i love her we love Carrie. So that was March. I might have showed you April because this is May. I don't quite remember if I have April. I should probably keep better track. I'm a disaster. Um, and this speaks to my 80s child heart. Hello, preppy Ralph Lauren. I'm all about these colors. Look at this. I just love these together. Oh, so excited. So I have... For my floss clubs, I have 10 new colors to put away. Um, and these go public, I think two months after, but this is She's So Blue, Ruddy Duck, Green, oh, Grass Queen, oh, I love it. Sunshine and Chick, very springy colors. And then in this one, there is Dirty Martini, because that's an olive. EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. This is Marvelous. Oh, look at that color. This is Creme de Violet. It's like a, and it is exactly that. It's like a creamy violet. And this is Over It. Oh, I love it. That purple. So I'll put these away in my filing system and put that in the trash. Let's keep tidy here. I received two of these that I'm doing this year. This is the um, Tiny Modernist Woodland Christmas. This one is part six. I think this is part five. Yes. So I did receive both of these in the mail. I'm still working on part four. I'm a little behind. It's fine. I'll get caught up. Um, I can't wait to do the angel. She's so sweet. Don't you love her? She's everything. So I received that in the mail. And then I purchased from 
keepsakes, which I will be doing um, a tour of the shop at some point. I'm going to go down this summer. So I, I order from keepsakes and I ordered some of the market releases. So I got from Jeanette Douglas. Um, this is Chubby Bunny. Tell me that is not adorable, this little tiny bunny. It does have the year on it, so I better stitch it this year, right? Just a small. And then from the Blue Flower Stitcher, which is Janine McGowan, I got Tudor, Tudor Goat. Look at the goat. And she has a Tudor B I need to get. But this is the goat. So I picked that up. And then I got this pattern, which is called Just One More Chapter by Poutini Poutini you can see and I got a companion piece to this that I printed that goes with this but that's a library it's a girl reading a book her lamp her stack of books I love it and then it says um just one more chapter and other lies I tell myself isn't that awesome so I received I received these all in the mail sorry I just with the button on my computer. So those are purchases that I made. Um, I'm gonna show you this because it's in front of me, but this was a gift to me at Stitch North from Lisa of River City Stitching. And she bought it and decided she wasn't gonna use it, so she gave it to me. And it is the Queen and Buckingham Palace. Guys, if I ever, I'm gonna have to start this. You know that, right? I mean, it's Queen Elizabeth. It's Queen Elizabeth. I mean, I don't even know. It's 2015 and it's 240 stitches by 134, but it is, it is, um, full coverage. I know. So I'm going to have to start that soon. I probably have all the floss anyway in my stash. So that was a gift. Thank you, Lisa. Okay. So I went to the retreat. I drove up. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting myself situated here. I drove up, so I left. Sorry, also my hair is wet. I just had a shower. I left Columbus, Pickerington area at about 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. And it, it's about a six and a half hour drive without stops. So obviously I stopped. So I left Thursday morning. I got up, I fed my cats, I fed my neighbors plant some water and I said, peace out Pickerington. I drove to Niagara Falls. I hadn't been there in like 20 years and I cannot believe how fun it is different now and how close to the falls you can walk. They have built on the, this is the American side. Next year I will do the Canadian side, but they have like, it's on Goat Island. So you drive out onto the island, there's parking, it's $10 for the day and you can walk to the falls they have it you know like there's a little fence but there's multi levels of trails you can walk along the river and the and the falls and it was so fun so on one side you have the american falls and the bridal veil and then you walk about two minutes around the corner and there is the horseshoe falls now if you are going from the american side you only see the the falls from the side because the falls are actually on the american side so i'm looking here and they're parallel to me and the horseshoe you get a better a little better view now from what I'm told the better view is on the Canadian side so you're looking back at the falls um, just as a heads up you do have to have a passport or a passport card of some sort to cross the border so keep that in mind but it was definitely worth the trip and I did buy I've been wanting a decent fanny pack belly bag that um, holds a little more than the normal ones. So this is more of like a hiking backpacking type situation. So it's pretty deep, but it will hold snacks. But really what I wanted to hold is my cell phone and my tripod. So when I'm out and about, um, I want to have my tripod. It's a, it's a portable one and my phone and my wallet and a couple snacks and wrap it around my waist and call it. So I had been looking at these, but this one has on it 
Niagara Falls State Park, and it's all different colors. You can pick the different colors, and this is water resistant. It has the double zippers on it. So this is definitely more function over fashion, uh, which is fine. It has the double zippers, and when I go overseas and stuff, I definitely like to have a fanny pack like this. I mean, it's so colorful. I love it. And I think regular list size, if you don't get one logoed and bought at a tourist attraction, it's $40, $30, but I paid $40, but I'm okay with that. So I grabbed that at the falls, and I also picked up two stickers, one for me and one for Sarah, who is talking to me. My computer. I have to itch my eye. I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay. So I stopped at Niagara Falls, and then I got there around 1130 walked around, had some coffee, did all that. And then I went on to Brampton, Ontario. Well, I crossed the border and then I went to a, a Tim Hortons for some fresh coffee. Then I went on to Brampton and that's where the retreat was. And in the area of the hotel, there is a Dollarama and a Dollar Tree and they're both Canadian. I will have hauls from what I picked up there. I did that and then I did go to Michael's at one point and got some which I need to find those earrings. I picked up some earrings at Michael's. I'm sure they're in my shopping bag. Then I went to the hotel and that was on Thursday. Thursday evening, um, a lot of people gathered in the lobby. I met Christine. Um, I sat with my friend Lisa and our other friend Lisa came from Germany. She was there and Melita came later who was a friend and I sit with her at the table. So many people stopped by. I brought Buckeyes. I was talking to people and sharing and I just don't remember everybody's names and I'm so sorry. But if I said hi, hi. So we did that. I worked on, I don't even remember what I worked on. Maybe nothing. Maybe I just talked, but I felt like I worked on something. And, oh, I did. I worked on my, um, I don't have it. Yes, I do. I do. Because I brought my project bag that I made, the folio bag which I love. So I worked on maximum cross stitch. There is always room. So I'm working on this. I've actually, I'm doing a sow, but I'm doing a very poor job of it. But this is how far I've gotten. Look how much extra fabric I have. I probably should just trim it off, but. So I'm working on this and all I got done at the retreat, to be honest with you, is the grass on one side of the dry of the house. <laughs> I did all this grass in the evening. I think this is 36 count. I'd have to check my book, but I'm pretty sure this is 36 count porcelain. Again, I'd have to check where I wrote it down, but I worked on that in the evening. Um, I did a hodgepodge of floss. So I pulled the Roxy floss that I had, and then I pulled some DMC. Um, I'm just trying to use what I have. Like I buy new floss from Roxy Floss Co. And I try to use that. So I went through and pulled the colors that I had in stash. And then what I didn't, I pulled from my stash that I have of DMC. So I'm just trying to use up, you know, the different things that I, that I already have. Instead of going out and buying all new all the time. Um... Not that I'm opposed to that, because I'm not, but, you know, that's how it goes. Then, I, what did I work on then? Oh, so we just visited in the lobby and all of that. So we were determined that we all wanted to sit together, and we wanted to sit closer to the front, near the window, and near the Evertoad team, because I wanted to visit with Carrie, and Caroline, and Hannah, and Daniel, and Leah, and Matt, in my table. So the tables were seven, but we ended up squeezing in an extra person. So we had eight at our table. So we had Hannah from the UK. We had Allie, who is Misfit Stitcher. We had Deborah that we have known, or Deb, or Debbie, or D-Dog, as I'm calling her. We met, been friends since last year. Lisa, River City Stitching. Next to her was... Lisa sat next to I can't remember but we had Lisa from Germany maybe she sat next to Lisa Lisa from Germany we had Corrine she is from Montreal was that everybody at my table 
Hannah, Allie, Deb, Lisa, Lisa, Lori, Kareen. No, I'm missing somebody. It'll come to me, but we had another person. Hmm. Oh, Melita, duh. Melita was sitting next to Lisa. I was like, how do I forget her? So I started, I don't know what order, but I started this ornament. And this was from a book I printed on from the, um, this is from Kathy Haberman, by the way, uh, Père Noel. And it was from the Jingle Ball. And I bought the ornament book. So I have this ornament that I started on this and this is 16 count haunted ada fabric that i had in stash and i wanted to use it for papa noel so it'll be a little larger ornament but that's okay my tree's big so that's how far i got while talking and shopping and visiting and wait till you see the shopping so honestly i brought one project bag with me and i put a couple projects there is no need to bring 50 projects but this was the bag I made and I brought, and I'm gonna make another one for Jacob Palooza. So that was the stuff that I was working on while, while I was um, visiting. Then I bought this kit from the Canadian Stitchery. So I got this from her and I love it. Now I did change the colors, you'll see, and I finished it. Ah! Uh, so I don't do blue and yellow. That's Michigan color. So I went with scarlet and gray and my, I changed my squirrel into a raccoon. So I just made his tail a little big. I'm not sorry, a beaver. And he's drinking a cup of coffee and I love him. And I fully finished him at the retreat. So I stitched him one day and this is my April finished ornament. So I'm super excited. And then I will probably pass along this pattern Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But it has all the directions and the pattern and I finished an ornament. I know, it's so exciting. Now, we were given a bag of stuff when we walked in the door and I failed miserably. I failed miserably, guys. You need to understand this. Um, because I was so humped up and piped, hyped up and excited and I just, I blew it. But anywho, look at the bag Caroline put in mine. Ah! I love it. It's all the black cats. Like what? So Carol, this was the bag with um, the kit that I purchased. So it wasn't given to us. It was a kit. But I love that they box the corners. I'm going to have to steal this idea from her. And the, you know, the linen, everybody got the same color linen. And then they made nine patch quilted bags. Isn't it awesome with the cream in the middle and then the matching zip? So this was a project that I um, purchased. It was the, the project for the retreat. And it came with, it came with a pattern and I apparently was supposed to go to the table and get the pattern, but I forgot to go to the table and get the pattern. So Hannah's mailing it to me next month. But I was also supposed to get a skein of floss, but I didn't do that either. So maybe I'll take that to Jacob. But this is the floss pack for the uh, pattern that I ordered. I told you I'm a disaster right now. So this is the floss pack. They'll send me the pattern. I'll start it. This I was supposed to get free floss. I didn't do it. And this is Panatone, I believe. And this is the fabric. And I think this is 40 count, but don't quote me. I don't remember. I'll have to look at my order to see what I ordered. But this was the project you could order, the kit. Oh, sorry. I'm a mess, guys. This is the kit for Pelotonia. I know. This is the kit for Stitch North that I purchased. And there's patterns. And then apparently the patterns are going to be a series. And they're going to have five designs. So a large one in the middle and four for either side. So this pattern that I will be getting will be the top left corner. Well, I guess it will be here. Um, so though, and then you can put little fabrics in between and then the larger one will go in the middle and you can get them all on evertote.com. All the links will be in the description box below. So this was it. And I believe they're selling these kits. I'm pretty sure. 
check with Caroline. We also got for our weekend, this was a pattern we received. So there's two weekends and different things came. So we got a bird and flower, and this was given to us by the Stitch Box on Etsy. Stitching Toolbox. Stitching Toolbox. Anna Collado. This is her pattern. I'm sorry, the glare. There we go. And then there was a little bonus pattern on the back. So we got that. We received some of this stuff, guys, I haven't even opened. But this is a handmade hor orc holder by I Can So Make That. She was a vendor for our weekend. Oh, we got a piece of candy, too. But this is adorable. And she put some effort into this. This is... A little ort holder so you put it on your table and you can drop your threads in it or whatever i mean she even has a little her little lo logo it's lined on the inside and it folds up so you can take it on the go with you right i can take this with me but then when i get there it just stands up i know i hear a noise one moment okay i'm back so we got these lovely Ort containers, which I'm excited for. And that'll fit in my little travel, my little travel kit that I take with me on the road. And then we got from Bryn and Needle. Each weekend had a different pattern. I don't think I can show you my pattern because it's a pattern. Like it's not a, there's not a finished picture. But it's very, um, they're on, she's from Newfoundland, so it looks like this tail, but I can't show you till I finish it, which I haven't even finished last year's. Guys, I'm, I'm a mess. I love that she puts their little gifts in here. And this is the name of the, of the website, which I will link in the, it's a, uh, I'll link it. And then we got this, we have a needle. This beautiful fabric to stitch it on, and it's an Ada. And then look at this floss that came with it. Oh. So I will do the whole thing in this and it's called Land and Sea. So the whole pattern will get done in this color. So that was from Brennan Needle that was in our gift bag. So everybody who vended put something in the gift bag. So that's why it's a little different each weekend because they had different vendors on each weekend and then I received from I gotta pull it out and see who it's from I haven't opened any of my stuff this is from Kimmet Designs and it looks like is that a needle minder no oh it's a zipper pull she made us a little zipper pull with a bead on it and this one is a little flower and butterfly and then a tiny tiny little tassel oh my god I love it so I could put this on my stitch north bag so she gifted us these and this is like a pin back but it makes your pins like a zipper pull and then she gave us some soak now this is wool soak but it is also used you can use it to wash your cross stitches if you have like if you hand wash them when you're finished, this is very mild soap and it works on wool and natural fibers and it will work just fine on um, your cross stitch. Oh, that's, this is a purchase. And there's a lot of those here. I'll just bring this over here. Um, we all got the Evertote needle minder. There we go, can you see it? I love it. Carrie and a friend of hers designs these. So I received that. And then we all got a pin here from the Canadian Stitchery. And this is um, Freddie the Frog. And he's to help us if we have to rip anything out. So that was from the Canadian Stitchery. Um, we received needle miners, and I'm pretty sure this is a stamp in here. And it's acrylic. And this is from the sewing shop. It's also a needle minder. I love it. It's really cool. So we received that. And then from, 
me see who this is from. <gasps> Ooh. Sheba Designs. And there's a little 23 charm. On I love these bulb hooks. And then a bunch of buttons, which I love. I love finishing my projects with buttons. So that was in the bag. And then from Maximum Cross Stitch, we received the Stitched North logo A. So I know I saw a couple videos from folks from the States. They don't know what that means. It means like Canadians sometimes will say A instead of yeah, you know. It's a common saying in Canada. If you didn't want to put that in there, just fill it all in in red. But it also came with Roxy Floss Swagger. So I'm going to stitch this up. I'm going to try to find some white fabric. I think that will be a good show. And then I'm going to make a bag. Um, Celtic Flamingo by Karen Dudinsky was given to us. This booklet has a few different designs in it. And then there's even in here, which I found very interesting in the pattern. Um, I won't show you the patterns, but they give you um, some grid paper, graph paper. So if you want to make any changes on your own, you can do that. And then Kitten Stitcher sent, this is Shakespeare's Peddler pattern. And this was in my bag. So that was all the things that I either purchased ahead of time or was given in my bag for um, the retreat when we signed in. So when you log in, you get a big bag, which was very cool. Then I will show you my, oh, I missed something. Oh, I put it in here already. My purchases. I know this is going to be a long video, everybody. Just sit back and relax. So I got to meet Deanne. Deanna? I think it's Deanna. Of Darling and Whimsy Designs. Now, when I was at Stitch North last year, I stitched the, the B and I made it into my lanyard with my name on it. And she was there. So we took a picture. So I bought the cow, um, the raccoon. I'm dying. And ever, they, a lot of them have crowns on them, which is just appropriate. <gasps> a moose, because how Canadian is that? The squirrel. And the fox. Oh, I love them, guys. So I bought these to work on. Purchases, right? Right, that's what we do. We purchase things. Um, I believe these were from the Canadian Stitcher. She had all different kinds of stitchers. This says, can't talk, I'm stitching. And this says, this bitch got a stitch. And then I have one that says, I love stitching. And I put it already on my water bottle. And these are stickers. Oh, on my way up, I purchased this. So here in the States, you can buy cookies. But in Canada, you can spend $2 and buy a pin. And the money goes to charity. Because I didn't want a cookie. So I got the pin. Um, I purchased a size 28 Bowen needles because I don't have any and I, I bought some 36 and 40 count fabric and you need the smaller needle. So I bought those and a new thimble and look at this thimble. I love it. It's black. Like a burnish black, but I needed it to do my hand stitching when I do um, quilting or bind any kind of binding. I didn't have a, a thimble that fit my finger. So I picked that up because why not? This was given to me. Um, I purchased some floss. Um, let's see. Roxy floss. I just wanted some new colors that I was lacking maybe. I don't think so, but this is Planetarium. It's blue and it's my favorite. I love it. This is Arctic Air and it's like a gray, white, bluish. This is Goldilocks, another yellow, and charcoal. Because I didn't have a I didn't have a good black. And then I but I think I ordered Gomez. So we'll see. I think so. And then I went up to Brin and Needle because somebody at my table bought this exact set and I said, well, I need those. Oh, Lisa from Germany. So this is the Danny Gorgon. Look at that blue. It's like a steel blue. I love it. And this is Butane. So these, I'm going to do all of these on one project. 
together because they match. And they have, so if you do that, they have a very similar vibe. So those will get packaged and sorted together. Then I went, I think this was Sheba Designs. Yes, I went to Sheba Designs and I got a thread bed. So I've already started with my Christmas thing and Carrie coined the phrase, and if she didn't, I don't care, I'm saying that she did, the 10 to 12 needle floss system. So I haven't been doing my Kringles because the color changing is just a little intense. And I didn't wanna have to deal with all the color changes but I'm gonna load up all my threads on a thread bed. And then this one here, I don't, I think it's for a different project, but yeah, this one here is the grass for uh, my, there's always room. And then, oh, this doesn't go with that. And then this is just a felt you could put blank needles on, but this is, I think she said this was fleece. And I think there's foam in between, but the thread just naturally sticks to it and it keeps it all organized. So I have like, some white that goes over here and that goes over there. And now I know I'll make some more of these myself because look at the back, there's cats. Cats in her hair and cats and cats. But I, you know, I got that from Sheba Designs. Very reasonably priced. Um, Cheryl from Modern, uh, the Tiny Modernist was there. So I picked up this little set of ornaments. I don't know if they're gonna be for Christmas or not. I mean, they are Christmas ornaments, but I can always zhuzh them around. But I grabbed this little set of Christmas ornaments. It's a three set. And then I grabbed this for Halloween. Trick or treat. I just thought it was adorable. And I love her little project cards. They're nice and easy. Um, and then there was, I can't remember the, the where I bought the needles and the needle thimble from. But she had like little sample sizes of different fabrics. So I grabbed this one in a 40 count linen. Definitely is thicker. And then this is a 36 count Edinburgh Platinum. And they're just little sample sizes. Like this is nine and a half by 11 or nine by 11. And this one is nine by 18. So they're just little small because I do want to do ornaments and stuff. So those are perfect for that. Talking a lot. And then I bought fabric from my favorite dyer, Carrie, of Roxy Floss Co. And you can get that at Evertote. But this is 40 count candy apple. Look at that red. It's a little brighter on camera than it is in person, but it's a, it's the color of candy apple. And these are all quarter yard cuts. They're pretty big, which is okay. So I got candy apple and then, I don't think this one has been released yet, cherry cobbler. And I feel like if I wanna do something Americana, I really like this vintage you feel of the red. This is 36 count and it is also a quarter of a yard. And it's showing up pretty true to color. This is a one of a kind in like a blue denim, which I love. This is 36 count. I really do love a 36 count. So I picked up three 36 counts, but I love this blue. And a lot of ornaments I feel like are have been done on this color. So, and I've been doing ornaments. And this is also a one of a kind and it's just this really bright yellow. I love it. And it's also 36 count. So these two you cannot order, but look at the colors together. And then with, I'm getting the, with these, like on either one of these, I would stitch any of these colors on any of these. But for most, I think these, be so pretty. So I that is what I purchased, right? I need to put my floss away, guys. I just put it over here in my pattern. So I didn't do too terribly bad. And I knew going up there that I wanted fabric. I wanted to be able to see it, touch it, feel it before I purchased it, if that makes sense. So that's what I purchased. Um, and that was over just, you know, a few days. Sorry, my computer's going to sleep on me. Now, 
I have gifty stuff in no, no particular order. Um, and this is just table gifts that folks shared with each other and that I was given. I am, I'm sad I broke this off when I opened it, but it's not broken. I just need to glue it back together, um, which is fine. I'm just taking the glue off that's stuck on here. This was made, and I believe these were her table mate gifts, but she brought one for me from Darlene. Oh, Darlene, thank you. It's a pin cushion. So you got your top glued on here, right? And then look at this little saucer and cup. What I did is I was too rough with it, so I'll glue it back together. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Oh, and look at on this side. Is it the same? No, look at the bigger flower on that side. I love it. And I will get it together and put it behind me for display. Thank you, Darlene, so much. I love this. So I received that as a gift. Trying not to break things here, guys. Here, let me do this. That's better. Okay. Then Hannah from England brought us these little cards to share. And look at that cow. I love that. And these are just little um, prairie schooler. I don't even know what they call them. This is a companion piece, but they sell them in little packages. And it's just a little tiny stitch. So I brought, Hannah brought those. Um, Melita gave us bags of stuff. Oh, it was awesome. I got lotion from her. I'll show you the things that came from, from her. I definitely know I got a pencil and I believe... The seam ripper, because we all need those. And I got some erasers for the pencil. There's so much stuff, guys. Um, I don't remember who gave me this, and I am terribly sorry, but it's appropriate. It's a crown. It's a counting pin. And it's a crown, but we were wearing them on our shirts for Saturday because it was the coronation. Um, Karen gave us, Karen Bear gave us some stuff, a bag of goodies, or a box actually that she made. And look at these little scissors. So that comes off and they're just tiny little stitches, stitching scissors. And these again would be perfect for any type of, and they're super sharp, any type of um, travel. These would be great to take on any type of like trip because they're small and they don't take up a lot of room. So I love that. Um, and I believe she gave us these as well, which is a little pen and notebook. I don't think Melita gave me those. I'm sorry if I forget. I'm a mess. This came from Snickerdoodle Stitch. And it's a bottle cap needle minder for our stitching. Isn't that wonderful? I love that. I want I'm back. Okay. So I showed you everything up to that point. Now... I received this little needle book and I feel like she had them for almost everybody. These are from Lisa with Lost in Stitches. She has a YouTube channel. I will link it below. This is a zipper pull or a key, key fob. You can use them for either or. Let me get it out of here so I can show you. Well, it's in there. Oh. It has a little lobster claw so you can hook it on your scissors or a zipper pull. I love these. And then she came around a second time with these needle books. Look at it. Little pockets on the front and back for your spare, your needles. And then I'm going to try to get some numbers like embroider 26, 28, 24, different size needles on these pages. So I can keep them sorted. And then it ties together. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, so appreciative of that. Um, my table mate put these in her gift bag. This is the flag for Newfoundland, where she is from. And it is a needle minder. And this is a floss drop, obviously, but she put them on here. I love it, I can't wait. I'm gonna get a wall of needle minders because I have a lot, right? And then uh, Misfit Stitcher. Who was at my table? That's Allie. She had these made. I think her parents made them for her. And these are also needle minders. Isn't that neat? I love it. I think that is fantastic. 
Um, again, I will share all this down below. Um, Karen gave us these. She came around with all kinds of floss drops that she made on rings, which I love. I love a floss drop. Debbie made these for us. Deborah D. Dog. It says it's you I like. Uh, let's see. Does it have her name on there? Um, yep. She initialed it. 23. And it's a bookmark. I love it. And I read. She made those for everybody at our table, which was fantastic. Um, I'm trying to move things over as I show you. Pooh in Canada or Canada Pooh Stitches made these floss drops and she punched her. Some folks, oh, are you going to focus? Some poke, folks punched, some folks didn't. So she gave us these on a ring, which I think is fantastic. So we have those. Um, I got a piece of maple candy. I believe this was in Karen's bag, some highlighters. She had a goodie bag like nobody's business. Kaylee Stitches, or Kaylee Cross Stitches shared these. That's her cat. I think it's no longer with us. Um, but we can pinch, punch these ourselves. She does tiny stitching, like 56 count, one over one. Mm -mm, no, thank you. But she gave me two of these. Oh, they were so cute. I got to figure out a system for all of my drops. Um, Natalie and Je um, Jeannie came by and gave us these. They made these with pictures. I don't want to cut them. I don't want to punch them. And these are all pictures they took. Aren't they great? So I have these floss drops. And then... Val came by and she made this for me. Oh my God, I love it. With my name on it, guys. And it's a tiny little project bag, which obviously it's a notions bag. And she got these, which she said she ordered these on Amazon and they're like hard cardboard. And what you can do is put your project information and write the number of the floss or the name on the back or the, the um, symbol if you're doing a project that holds a lot of different floss, I think these are fantastic. And you have 14 holes to put 14 different colors. So if you're doing a big project, these are great. And she's from Marco Island in Florida. Look at her floss drops. So pretty. And then she gave us a needle minder with a flip flop. Uh, uh, uh. I love it. That is like beach life. I love that. I need to get all my floss drops together and all of my um, needle minders together. But I love this bag. I cannot wait. This would be a perfect little pro uh, notions pouch too. And you can see everything. Uh, Carrie from Roxy Floss Co. shared that with me. It's her new um, needle minder for her new logo. Because uh, she was Leo and Roxy, but now she is Roxy Floss Co. And I love it. I can't wait to use that. I'm going to use that one this week. And then Lisa, um, she is the Forest City Stitcher. No, Forest City Stitching. Made us all these needles. So they're, they can be counting pins or whatever you want to call them. And look at that fabric. So I made these little pin cushions in coffee cups. I got these little cups at... Hobby Lobby, and that's supposed to look like a coffee or latte. And then this one is just something fun. But I use felted wool, and I'm going to put my counting pins that I'm not using in my little pin cushions. So I thought that was fantastic, but they're cool. And then she shared, and look, at I love it. She has a heart punch. These are some pictures I believe she took. These are her this year's. Okay, they're all the same. This year's picture. And she had these printed up. So nice. Guys, stitchers are so lovely to each other. And I love it. So I'm putting all of my floss drops right now in this bag from Val. 
Um, oh, and then from Michelle Bendy, she had a bag of patterns and stuff she was sharing. And these stickers from the Fox and Rabbit, I think they're out of Australia. And this is a magnet. I love it. So I'm going to put it on my magnet board. Probably I will put it on my floss drop or on my needle minder board. I need to find a big metal board and then I can put all these on there. So that's exciting. And then there was a freebie table. I didn't get too much at the freebie. Oh, no, Lisa, my table mate from Germany, um, had messaged me a while back and asked if I was interested still in these magazines from France because she was going and she brought me three. How lovely. Oh, I love you, Lisa. So these are, these are French cross-stitch magazines. So you can't, they're not in, obviously they're not in English. But they have different patterns in here. I love the French design. And look at that embroidery. And that's from DMC. But look at these. Joy Noel. So there's this one. And this is, I think, Christmas 23. Does it does say 23 on it. I don't really know. Oh, this is November, December of 23. That one is November, December of 20. And this is November, December of 2019. Isn't that wonderful? So these are all their Christmas ones, which I love. So there's that. And look at this. And they, I mean, they just have, it's like our stitching magazines, you know? But I want to see this one. They're just like in English, but they're not in English. Look at, look at the little cats playing. And then, so it'll be a, like a little tree. Right? With their cats playing. Isn't that perfect? So she brought me those for myself. And then she brought a stack of two different ones. Of this and a calendar. But I chose this one because this is Ma Petite Messerie. Au point de croix. Cross stitch. Needle point? I don't know. But there's all kinds of patterns with... Um, let me see here. Like, look at this one. They're just all different projects, but you can pull motifs from any of them. You know, there's just lots of motifs. It's almost like a sampler. I mean, I guess it is a sampler, sort of, but there's all kinds of cross stitching in here. So there's patterns in here. And I took this one for one reason and one reason only. First of all, she found a fabulous book with creepy cats. I say creepy cats because they're from the 80s, but where's the cat picture? The done of the done. Well, I have a cat pattern, but I don't, oh, here it is. Look at that cat and the dog. They're just so delicate. I love it. I love the style. So I got that from Lisa, and I think that was on my gifty gifts. If I oh, and I, a lovely lady came up and gave me a ten dollar gift card to to um, Tim Hortons. That was so so nice of her. All right, so um, I picked these up on the freebie table. This is an old postcard from I would say the eighties, if I had to guess. Oh nope, nineteen ninety six, and it's, it's a postcard cross stitch pattern, which I love the chicken. And then somebody had left a bunch of these. They're like um, thread floss bling for your floss drops and stuff. You can just slide it on here, but I always put another one so it hangs straight. It bothers me that they hang sideways, but that's a me thing. So I grabbed that on the freebie table too. So guys, that is everything that happened at Stitch North. Other than ja um, Daniel from Evertote and I, broke into the balcony up on in the ballroom we broke up we broke in there and by that i mean we went to the front desk and asked if they would give us a key to get let us in and the lady came and let us in and we visited and we talked and we chatted and i think um i think that's everything it was a fantastic time i just don't know how to explain to you what it's like to go you really just need to experience it and don't be nervous stitchers are very kind people all right, guys. Well, I won't keep you any longer, but that was everything I bought, was given, and brought back from Stitch North, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.